Travis Campbell here and in today's video we're going to talk about the use of Google Reader to be more productive and efficient in consuming information while being social at the same time. Specifically we're going to cover why RSS readers make you more efficient, specifically Google, Google Reader. Then we're going to talk about setting up an account, subscribing to a feed, being social while sharing with Google Reader. Very, very, very interesting features. And lastly, I'm going to share a couple of hot tips, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So let's get started. So for those that aren't using a RSS reader, or before the days of using an RSS reader, they would perhaps have a drill for consuming information. They go to some of their top or favorite sites, like Copy Blogger, see what the latest post is, read, review it, maybe leave a, leave a comment, head on over to another blog, perhaps Seth Godin, uh, Small Business Trends is another popular site. Go through your sites, you can list them on and on and on. Uh, Chris Brogan, other sites that are out there, or sites that are in your niche. And what I'm gonna say to you is don't do that. Uh, with Google Reader, you don't have to do that. With any RSS reader, you don't have to do that. But I wanna talk about a particular Google Reader and why I think that's the way to go, at least at this point. So all you have to do is go to google.com forward slash reader to set up an account. Now I've already set up an account. If you have a Google account, just log in with your Google credentials. I already have a Google Reader account, so I'm gonna to go to uh, google.com forward slash reader, and it's gonna load up my uh, Google Reader. So the first thing you'll notice is there's a pane on the left, and then there's information here on the right. Now many readers, by default, when you start your account, they're in an expanded view. They're in, a, in this expanded view, and I wanna encourage you to just go to the list view. Once you start subscribing to a bunch of feeds, I'm gonna cover that in just a minute, uh, you'll find that it can get overbearing, uh, quite a bit of information in there, but it's much, much more efficient than browsing the web pages individually. So first thing I wanna talk about is how to add a subscription. Okay, so I'm doing some research and I find a great looking blog that I want to subscribe to. So instead of visiting the blog over and over again like I would before I used an RSS reader, what I can do is I can actually subscribe to the RSS feed. And you know that there's an RSS feed because of this little icon in the upper right hand corner. Now, instead of clicking subscribe, I'm gonna right click and choose to copy the link address. I just find it easier. And then I hop over to Google Reader and there's this button right here called add a subscription. And I click the add a subscription, right click and paste hit add, and it does just that. So you can see, this is Matt Cutts, uh, an SEO expert, his blog, and you can see on down the line, it, the, all the postings that have occurred on his site, it keeps bringing them in over, uh, over a period of time. Looks like he's got quite a few out there for a while. So in the list view, I can see the topics when they were posted, and then I can click on them and expand them. Now if they're bringing uh, the full content, you'll see what you see here. Some of them bring just an excerpt. But what we can do is I can now uh, quickly go into Google Reader and find uh, this, the blog information when there's new posts. And if I go to all items up here, it will list all my items. Now I'm, I'm subscribing to a lot of different RSS feeds. But in the case of uh, with Matt Cuts, I can just choose his subscription. It shows up on this link down here. And I need to go down and find him. And there it is. And you'd see something like this. There's and uh, you just click that and it'll show you all the posts for that, for that site. And the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is if you read something good, like I really liked this post, I thought it was very valuable information. Let's talk about how after subscribing and you read a good post, you can share that with those that you're friends with on Google. Now if you've been around the web for a, a very long time, uh, perhaps in more recent months, you'll notice that some sites, it's out of marketingprofessor.com, they'll have a bar across the bottom or a widget in the side that has all these people's uh, little avatars and it talks about Google Friend Connect. Well, those friends are now exposed and available in Google Reader. It's been somewhat unreliable, but uh, they're starting to you know, make a lot of progress getting the bugs worked out of it. So you'll see over here that I have some friends over here in Google Reader as well. And those friends are available to uh, share their information with me as well as I can share stuff with them. So if I click on Marcus, 
you can see he has uh, posted some information and, and left a comment or a link to a post or what have you. And all you need to do is go into uh, sh uh, share settings. It's right down here. You see share settings. Somewhere on the left-hand side, it's on yours. And here's the people that I'm sharing with. And you need to just enable sharing. So here's the people I'm sharing with and the people sharing with me. And I'm currently sharing with friends. You can change that and share with all of your chat contacts. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually save that. So you can change your share settings. And then when you share something, which I'm going to show you in a minute, they'll be able to see that. There's also a public page where you have a list of your shared items. Okay, I have to click on shared items. Okay, and when your shared items are publicly available at this web page. So if I hit this web page, it brings it up over in another window. And these are the items that, uh, that I've shared. This is my shared items page. You can configure that as you wish. And you see the comments here and so on that I've left. So once that is configured and you have friends that you're sharing with, and by all means, uh, you can see the email up here. If you want to share uh, information with me, just email a link. Go in here and email a link to me at Travis or uh, marketprofessor at gmail.com. See that right up here? Uh, email a link through Google Reader. That works better than, uh, than just the Friend Connect part. So getting back to this, this is where it gets very cool is I see Matt cuts his post, his presentation here. I review it. I like it. And I can share with a note. Uh, let's see here. I'll just say I can add this to shared items. I'll add tags. Okay. And I hit post item. Now, this is going to be shared with all my friends. So if I go to shared items here and I look at this web page, it's going to bring it up again. And there it is. There's the shared item. And this is the note that I just left and the presentation through my own uh, my own Google Reader shared applet. So very powerful stuff about being able to share stuff with Google Reader. And like I said, they're continuing to refine and improve this feature, but it is incredibly powerful and uh, it allows for a great social element. You'll see in here Chris Lang, he's, uh, he's communicated different things, his own comments here, and I've commented back. You can add another comment. You can have a back and forth conversation just within your Google Reader shared items. Share uh, two hot tips uh, about uh, what you can do with Google Reader.